Hi everybody. I wanted to let you know that I have stopped commenting on videos and the reason why is simply because of the absolute antagonism that I've been seeing and experiencing really. I can't take it anymore. Really I can't. Um, actually, I've been really thrilled to find that there is a setting on Magic Actions for YouTube where I don't see comments anymore. So, unless it's something really special, probably my friend the Dragon Demands, I love his videos. I'm absolutely thrilled that I found his channel. I will suspend um, Magic Actions to see comments on his videos probably so I can comment on those videos. But unless it's something really, really special, I won't be seeing comments on your videos and I won't be commenting on the videos. So if you're wondering why some of you that are really special, some of you really good friends of mine, I won't be commenting on any videos anymore and I won't be seeing comments on any videos anymore. And I'm really glad, honestly, that I'm not because the hate and divisiveness and the childishness and immaturity that I see, I can't deal with it. The stress, the utter inanity really that I see is just too much for me to deal with. So when I saw that option available, I think it's new, I got rid of comments <laughs> and my life's been a lot better. Also, I had been having seizures. I had the first one on my birthday this year, on the 1st of July, and I didn't have another one until mid-September. Actually, it was on 9-11. Um, come to find out, I had been experiencing serotonin syndrome, which was bad and can be fatal. But I had to figure it out for myself because my doctor was not being very responsive to that request. Um, that I wondered why I was having these horrible seizures. And in fact, I was having these hallucinations that everything was going backwards. It was really, really scary and frightening. Um, don't mess around with serotonin syndrome. And if you have, um, if you're taking any kind of medication like that, be really careful that you're getting the right dosage. But my doctor had failed to take into account the fact that I'd lost all that weight and I was getting this super high dose of that medication. And I guess it just was messing around with my the chemistry in my brain, obviously. Um, it was making me very ill. So, yeah. I, I was having a really hard time there for a while. That's why I hadn't make any, didn't make any videos. And nonetheless, um, yeah, the stress was just too much for me. And that's why I'm not commenting, if you've been wondering. But I'm still liking your videos. I can still do that. And I have been. And I've been watching. But I won't be commenting. Okay? Nothing against you guys. I love you all still. And I'm um, definitely watching, but not commenting. Oh, and by the way, somebody went through and disliked all my videos. I can only imagine who that might be. Probably somebody, an, an old friend off YouTube that is no longer a friend, not YouTube, off Facebook, I mean, sorry, that um, I dumped a bunch of friends recently off Facebook. Sorry, but you know, they, they want to be hateful. They can be hateful, but I just will not, I'm sorry, but I will not put up with people that absolutely are entrenched and uh, practice identity politics and hate our president. Sorry, if you hate our president, I have a problem with that. I do. Um, hating the president and hating the government that he's running is foolish and is basically saying to the world that you want the United States to fail. That's stupid. That's really stupid, if, especially if you're an American. I, I don't understand that 
and I really don't respect it because my father gave his life for this country. He did. I just found out last night that I'm a gold star child. I'm a gold star daughter. And I just ordered today my gold star pin. And I do not respect people who do not respect this country. Whether you love it or hate it around the world, and I can understand the blowback. I do understand why people believe in blowback. But if you do not like the United States, you have maybe you have your reasons. But I don't appreciate the Americans in this country who do not respect our nation. You know, a lot of us had to deal with um, the last 20 some odd years of insanity. And I'm 53 years old. I remember a lot more about presidents. I can remember uh, Richard Nixon as a president and, and then all of the subsequent presidents after that. My mother actually was heavily involved in Carter's campaign and actually picked up his mother, Miss Lillian, from the train when she came up for his inauguration and went to his inaugural ball. She was, we lived here in Washington, D.C. area, and I'm living back here now. So I've been heavily involved in politics all my life and political campaigning. Not only that, but I have quite a bit of education and have a doctorate in history. So I, if, you, if people don't realize that history, what do you think we study in history? Do you think we just study history? What do you think history consists of? We study a lot of politics. Mm -hmm. We study a lot of politics in the past. I know it's in the past, but trust me, folks, we learn a lot about history is a lot about politics, social constructs, and also religion. That's what mainly where the records were kept, okay? So, and what I've done, so you understand this, is when I wrote my senior thesis as an undergrad, it was on World War II and the Holocaust. In fact, my senior thesis was who killed the Jews? So when you talk about Donald Trump as a racist and compare him to Hitler, he's nothing like Hitler. Trust me, I know. I wrote my senior thesis on who killed the Jews. He's nothing like Hitler. Really. If anybody knows, I know. That was my senior thesis. That guy's nothing like Hitler. Okay? Um, then I've gone backwards, historically speaking, because I've studied that period, and then I've gone, uh, I've also done um, Civil War history, and I've done American Revolution history, which is colonial history, and then the period that I did my doctorate on was early modern history. And I went to Scotland to do it. It's on the Duke of Athol and his family, in which covered the period basically from the latter part of the mm, 16th century, mainly through this, mainly in the 17th century and early into the 18th century. And in Scotland, so really, if you're into Game of Thrones, I did um, the gentleman, the Duke of Athol himself, the first Duke of Athol, he was the lead commissioner into the inquiry into the Glencoe Massacre, which was what Martin used for his inspiration for the Red Wedding. So that, but this is the real, <laughs> the, the real Glencoe Massacre. And Lord John Murray, who was the first Duke of Athol, was the head commissioner into that inquiry in Scotland. And then he was also heavily involved in the Glorious Revolution. Then that was when the Banks of England and Scotland were formed. Then they had the Darien Expedition, which was Scotland's attempt at a colony. And then, then of course, the, the really big thing was the union between England and Scotland. And then there was the 15 rebellion during his lifetime. And then he died. And then his son, Lord George Murray, was the um, one of the greatest generals in Scottish history who 
tried to help Bonnie Prince Charlie when, if he'd have listened to Lord George Murray, he would have held Scotland and he had Edinburgh. I swear some of those storts must have been dropped on their heads as children, seriously, especially James the second and seventh. Anyway, I am a historian and I know a great deal about politics, a lot more than you think. And when I make decisions, I have voted all over the political spectrum, all of my life. I have voted for Democrats, Republicans, Libertarians, uh, Constitutionalists, and I've taken two semesters of constitutional law. I was going to be an attorney until i have taken a lot of history and realized how much I'd been lied to in history uh, in high school and decided that's enough I've had it <laughs> I want to take history and teach history so that I can teach other people how much we've been lied to so that's why I became a historian and want to teach history and why I've taught history so just so you know why I do what I do but I found that a lot of people tend to deride me treat me really badly and that's why I don't want to see comments or have comments on YouTube. I don't like them, I'm getting tired of it and that's why I made the video so that you know some of you that are my friends why you don't see comments from me anymore. If you want to comment to me or want to talk to me you can send me private messages. Um, you can find me on Facebook or you can see me on, on my social media platform should be listed on my about page so you can find me there if you wish to contact me or talk to me and in the meantime I hope that you all have a great week um, a great rest of the autumn season and maybe I'll make some more videos in the meantime I've got a lot to do a lot of presents to make. I'm making jewelry. I'm making all kinds of stuff. And yeah, I'm a gold star daughter. Who knew? I'm so pleased to know that. It makes me very proud. Okay, you guys take care. Love you all. Talk to you soon, I hope. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really busy. Take care. Bye-bye.